Hello everybody, Odin God here, logging on. All right, so I've been, I got back, first of all, let's just start this right. I got back on the mod. My account finally opened back up, I'm back on. Like I said though, if anything else unjustfully happens to me, I'm done with this mod and I will move to Diablo 2 Resurrected and that's where I'll be. But uh, I actually enjoy the game as it is right now more than I do resurrect because the skills and the, all that stuff is set the way that I like them to be. They've made enhancements to the game like, like uh, you know, huge stash. You know, your box has an extra layer there. You, your charms go down here so you could pick up stuff in your inventory. You know, this didn't necessarily, like, buff us. I mean, a little, I guess, because you usually have to leave at least this much space open. So, well, we got two two extra skills that we could put here that we normally don't get to. That's about it. You know, so it's a super small buff, but it's so convenient to be able to pick up stuff, sell it. You don't have no issues moving this over here, that over here, this over here, just trying to do something. So, let's just, that. Um, that's why I'm here, you know. 90% for the stash, to be honest. And then the rest of it's the skills that's changed, you know, like you look at here. You know, it's a lot more, like like this for instance, let me, let me show you this, and then we'll, then we'll come back in here and I'll show you my gear and stuff, but, oh, I just got here to Nightmare. Okay, hold on. I want to show you this, this is what I'm talking about. This mod has made things the way it should be. I feel this is where the they game is. But anyway, watch this. Four balls, see that? Kind of like the lightning does when you throw it. it. They throw the different lightning ones out there. Well, fire does that here, too. So, look at that. That's just beautiful. And it does a significant amount of damage. I mean, not a lot, but it's 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 something. It works. Okay. So, taking a look at my gear, what I have on right now. And my level is only level 40. I just got to Nightmare. Um, as most of you know, attack speed is what makes you... Your traps launch faster and all that kind of stuff. It's not casting, it's attack speed for a trapper. So, so that's the reason why I looked for something with speed on it at this level. And there's other stuff, but this is what I have currently right now at this level. Uh, I just usually MF enough stuff to where the build can actually do its job at, at these levels of bringing characters through. So I look for certain curtain items that does that. All right. So, you know, this one gives three to wake up a fire. That's why it's on there. Uh... I could socket it, I could add attack speed, but you know what? I'm not going to have it very long, so I'm not really worried about it. I was using this low-level set because here, this low-level set gives trap trap skills and stuff. So that's why I have that ring on. I just haven't replaced it yet. Actually, I have another character with her godly gear that I'm going to be moving to as soon as I get about level 53 or 56 or something like that when it kicks in. But anyway, this belt makes that glove give the 20. So does songs, but it's easier to wear this with less strength. Even though I did stack a lot of strength on her, that's just to wear the gear. It's not the way I build my characters in the end game. That's the least strength you can get. Most life are decks, depending on what you are, you can get, you know, and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, skin of the bite ring, lure, two traps, <coughs> excuse me, two traps and me, you know. Uh, this does have casting. This is just a random ring. It doesn't, I don't even care. You know, I just put it on. Because I know casting doesn't have anything to do with this character. Uh, just some boots with some reduction. Uh, this right here helps the, one of the girls that I was using. And it also has Wake of Fire. But, but uh, I like this girl here. Over here, I do. I like her better. Because she throws the stuff that you throw. Even though I do have her. We're going to just see, because I might just do both of them, maybe, or something. I don't really know what I'm going to do there. That's just what I've done right now, whatever. Yeah. I don't have anything on the other hand. This is just random low-level stuff, like all my low-level characters are, you know. I just find life. I'll keep stuff like this, you know, 9, 15 life, whatever, you know. It's just, you know, 17, 14 to 15 life. I try to keep all of those, little resist. You know, and then you can get these big ones that has big 30 lightning resist. This is extremely important going through Nightmare doing bell runs. So, that's why it's there. <laughs> I'm looking to, I'm looking to the, you know, board. I'm going to have these on eventually. Uh, they add fire damage. I don't know if they actually add fire damage to my traps. I don't think they do. I'm not sure over here. 
But anyway, I got them anyways, you know, just for the faster, just for that level. Um, so I can take this belt off, basically, and put myself something else better. Uh, this is going to kick in soon. Pretty, pretty good little trap, Amy. Mars right now. Lower the resist when it hits. It's got a 28% chance to lower the resist when it hits, so that's why that's there. Uh, I would rather put shell runes, but at the time that I put those runes in there, I didn't even have any shell runes, but that's what actually should be in there. Just haven't got around to messing with it yet. Random gloves, whatever, just throw them on there. Uh, this helps with some physical reduction and, you know, I'll resist. It kind of goes with this. This I try to put this on my mercies early. This armor, and then this belt, and then you get this. Yeah. And then this is an extremely good low-level helm as far as the resist part goes. Not bad. It doesn't matter if the monsters are running too much because I kill them before they get anywhere anyway. Alright. Okay. So we're going to go do the den, you know, like I always do when I'm, when I'm showing a video of the low-level character. I really like this character. I, look, I throw my traps here and I watch this. I'll run up here. And as soon as there's some enemies, my traps will launch out there on their own. Unless I don't find out in a while. They didn't even throw those. They follow you. That is so freaking cool. They're dead now. Oh, those are not. See, look at that. That's crazy. I guess they just stay alive until ever they use their uh, attack. So that's really cool, man. It saves you a lot of mana, you know, and a lot of a lot of throwing stuff down because you can just kind of throw them all out there. And then as you run, I don't know if they'll follow you in here, though. Let's see if they do. So dark. No. Perfect. Never left out there, so. But if I throw a bunch here, and then, like I said, you know, you saw it, I run. So the traps. I didn't throw those. I really like that attribute. It's cool. Or, not attribute, but add on. You know, it's really cool. So I'm really liking the fire trap assassin. Um. We're going to just have to see how she turns out in Hell, I know, because Hell has tons of immunities. And I'm not really sure if, if this weapon can drop them down to where I can kill them. Maybe some of them. So we're going to just have to see how that goes. But here in, in uh, Project Diablo 2, we have maps. And in those maps, you can choose maps that don't have no fire resist, or very few. You, know, you kind of can choose where you want to play with the girl. Let's see how that goes. So yeah, when you throw one of these traps, it ain't wasted because it goes with you. Just like that. Now normally, you know, I just walk off and let it do its thing. Hmm, where did I miss some? Better, better look back over here again. So I gotta come back. Hmm. There they are. All piled up there in a little crack. That's for free. Good day. The rogue's test is done. Right here. Grab this. And take my skill. Let's see what was I doing. Yeah, I got. I, I'm gonna. I'm maybe later. I'm gonna do these. Thinking about grabbing that real quick because that would be really good. Like in the bell fight, you know, early on at least. But I think that I need to just keep plugging in the damage. So let's just do that for a while. I have this one maxed out. Whoops, where go? I have this one maxed out. I think since I'm sort of close, 10 skills or so. I'm going to go ahead and max this now. Hello. I don't know how efficient this is over here. I bet it's not bad for boss killing. Though, but we'll see. Okay, so let's just... We'll do one more quest and then we'll call it. But I can't wait for Resurrected to actually, you know, at least somewhat catch up with this mod. <coughs> I got a little bit of a cough. And it just bothers me sometimes. Not all times, just strange. It's like it always just kind of hangs with you. In the wintertime, that happens to me. I don't know why. It's just always just a little small cough. 
Very annoying, especially when you're making videos. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see if this thing pops out or anything. That's another one of the good things about using an assassin. You don't need keys. She can open up anything without needing a key, man. So that's really cool. Grab this. Alright, let's find that girl and go ahead and kill her. Blood Raven. Now he's immune to fire. Does this have physical? You know, they should. This should have some physical damage, too. At least this. At least one of her things should have it. Fire damage only. Fire damage only. Hmm, how strange. But that's, I guess that's when you'd want to use this. If you can get one guy killed, and you got this level pretty good, you can take him out with that thing. But yeah, I mean... Iceman did a video on immunities. And, uh, good video, by the way. He's one of the, uh, YouTubers that do videos on this game, too. I'm one of his fans. I like his stuff pretty good. I watched him for a few months. Never miss a video. Look forward to watching his video. I get up. First thing I do is look and see if he made a video. <laughs> yeah, a really cool guy. Very knowledgeable of the game. Uh, I think he's playing Diablo 3 right now. I don't know how long he's going to stay there, but that's what he's doing right now. And I did ask him for permission to talk about him. So, he said it was cool. So, that's the only reason why I'm even bringing him up because I have his permission to do that. Um, maybe she's over here. Or is this the... Ah, that's Tony Field. She must be that other way over there. But anyway, uh, he was making a video on immunities and stuff, and I'm like, man, I, I don't think there should be immunities. And, and it's funny, too, because me and him both agree that there shouldn't be immunities. There should be high resistances to certain, you know, fire, or cold, whatever the, the thing would normally be immune. Just make it a high resist. Because, look, if you can knock down the resist anyway... With, with infinity or whatever you want to use. If you can knock it down anyway, well, it'd be about the same thing then. And, and even if it killed at a slower rate, exactly what he said. I mean, I thought about that a long time ago. Exactly what he said in his video. That's what it should be. It should be a high resist, but if you want to spend the time to kill him, you should be able to do it. There you go. Now, I think if they do take out immunities altogether, I think that what they should do is take out infinity as well, because look, <laughs> there would be no stupid. slowing you down whatsoever if they lowered the resist down to, to being immune, and then you lowered it down even more with that rune word. I mean, they would just be like, it, it would just be ridiculous. I don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, rune word still remaining in the game. But you could replace that rune word with something else, you know? Or maybe you're lighting up what it does. Take into consideration of what it did before, and then make it the same. Then, then it could stay. Because it would lower them as much as it would lower them if they were if they were immune. No more, you know. Something like that. And then, then the regular monsters that get their resistance is lowered automatically. Anyway, even without being immune, would be about the same. So if they done that, they could keep the rune word, you know. Because you, when you change something in a game... You change a lot of stuff. Did I kill her? Did we find her? Or did I just turn around and start walking this way? I get so into talking. I think I did kill her. Okay, she's dead. I'm just trying to get this other waypoint now, and then we'll go to town. I need the video. But, uh, yeah, you know, that, that's me and him's eye to eye perfectly on that right there. But, but then when you change something like that, what I was saying a while ago, is you got to take into consideration. If you make them where they're not immune anymore, and say you lower the resist down instead of 100%, 90% or 80% or whatever or you want to put it, then that makes that rune word stronger, so that rune word is going to have to be, you know, took down some. So, we'll just have to see how all that plays itself out if they was to do something like that. I don't know, because there's a huge argument between keeping immunities and not keeping immunities. I, for one, say there should be no immunities. I've been, I felt that way for a long, long time. Because when you make a build like this right here, 
if you don't have infinity and all and we're through you know infinity is not an easy thing to get what does that force you to have to do skip you gotta skip everything anyway guys this is odin god i just gonna take too long to do this i'm signing out love y'all take care of yourself stay safe all right have a good one